So ideal gas versus real gas, what's the difference? Well, first let's write out our ideal gas law. PV equals nRT. And ideal gas is only good for ideal world because there's actually two other variables in addition to pressure, volume, temperature, and number of moles of gas that are going to affect your system. Granted, they're much smaller effects, but they're still there. Let's draw some gas molecules in here. And one of them is going to be electrostatic interaction between the two gas molecules or intermolecular forces. So we have real gas incorporates one intermolecular or some people call them van der Waals forces same thing and two is going to be the size of this particular molecule or particle size and that's another characteristic of a real gas. Why do uh, van der Waals forces or intermolecular forces and particle size affect your system? Well, if these two guys are close to each other, they're going to uh, interact a little bit more with each other based on electronegativity of the atoms involved with that molecule. We remember that electronegativity increases as you go right and up on the periodic table. Well, the ideal gas law states nothing about this. The ideal gas law treats all gases the same, PV equals nRT. But we know that because of electronegativity and electrostatic attraction or intermolecular forces amongst molecules, the closer these are to each other, the more of some type of impact it's going to have on each other. So think about it this way, if you're on a, on a train and you're, let's say, sitting right next to somebody and you have chemistry with that person, well, they're going to affect you in a positive way, right? Well, let's say you're right next to that person and you don't like them, you don't have any chemistry with them, well, then they might affect you in a negative way, but regardless, the closer you are to them, the more uh, of an effect it's going to have on, on your behavior. You might want to run off the train. You might want to run to the other side of the car. You might want to scream, hey, you know, there's, there's some creep sitting next to me, whatever. So, <clears throat> smaller distance, it's going to increase the effect of intermolecular force. Let's take a look at particle size. Well, particle size is going to affect the amount of volume taken up uh, by the gas molecules in your system. So larger gas molecules are going to impact uh, to a greater extent the volume in your system. The reason is because as you go to the right and down on a periodic table sizes of atoms are going to increase number of electrons, number of protons, atomic radii. Um, so obviously if you take something like xenon which is heavier and larger uh, 131 then neon, which is only 20, it's going to affect overall volume of your system because now your volume is going to be less. The gas molecules are, are taking up a portion of that. Right? So real gas incorporates intermolecular forces and particle size, which an ideal gas doesn't. And you can even look at an equation uh, this is called the Van der Waals equation uh, of a real gas. And you can see it kind of looks like the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. But look at these two additional variables, A and B. A is the measure of the attraction between the particles or the electrostatic attraction. 
and B is the volume excluded by a mole of particles, which is based on particle size of your gas molecules. So how are you going to limit the effect of these two variables? Well, we stated that their effect is greater as, they get, as the molecules get closer together. So how do you increase the distance between molecules? Well, that's easy. You make them hot. That's not going to uh, make them want to go anywhere near each other. And you decrease pressure. Because if there's less pressure, then they have more room to roam around, right? It's like if you want to crowd a train, and what happens when they open up the doors? They release the pressure, right? There's more space to roam around, so that person that was sticking their elbow in your rib, which is very close, uh, which was very close to you, now isn't going to have much of an effect anymore. So there you have it the difference between real gases and ideal gases, the two variables involved in a real gas, and how you limit the impact of those two variables. Boom.